What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music business, and music production. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So today, I want to do a tutorial. I've been getting requests on um, how to integrate the machine MK3 with Logic Pro X um, since the recent update to uh, 2.7.6, uh, machine 2 2.7.6 or machine 2.7 points. Y'all know what I'm saying, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to integrate that and just how to get a, an overall dope workflow um, between the machine MK3 and Logic Pro 10. Uh, so, and actually I'm gonna show you um, another little trick to kind of help you with as far as like your transport, to get your transport controls to work while you're running the machine software inside of Logic. So that means it'll allow you to, to use the play, the record, the stop, um, the loop feature, and, and all of those cool things. So let's dig into it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is um, getting that machine to work um, with the, the play, the record, the stop, um, basically your, your host transport controls. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is open up uh, the Native Instruments Controller Editor and then you wanna select your machine. Mine is Machine Controller MK3. And then here, it's usually blank. I already created um, a Mackie control template, but if yours just say template one, you don't have a template, you wanna create one. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. So we're gonna go here to factory templates and we're gonna select Mackie control. And then at pulls up a Mackie control template. And then what you wanna do here is simply click on where it says host transport control. And literally that's it. Now I'm gonna delete this because I already have one, um, but you'll just keep it the same. I'm gonna close this. Now that you have that set up in controller editor, now you wanna go to logic and you wanna create a controller. Uh, so let's go to Logic Pro 10, Control Surfaces, Setup, and here we want to create a new device. So we'll select New, Install, and then we're gonna you're gonna scroll down until, until you see Mackie Designs and Mackie Control. Select Add, and we'll exit out of there. It's gonna create this new Mackie control. So now what we have to do, if you go up here where it says output port and input port, it says off and any right now, you wanna change both of those to say machine MK3 virtual output and machine MK3 virtual input. Now you should be able to press stop and play on your machine and it'll cause Logic to do the same thing. You can even select the loop, take the loop on and off. Rewind, fast forward, loop, you can record, all of that dope stuff. So that's how you um, pretty much add your transport controls um, within, you know, using machine software that allow it to control logic at the same time. And as you can see, you, you still have, you know, you can control your, your machine and what's going on in there, um, you know, at the same time. So it's pretty dope. Now I'm going to go over um, the, the integration with the machine MK3 and how you can pull up, you know, your, your mixer board as it's related to uh, what you have listed in Logic Pro 10. Um, so it's really, really simple. Once you're you know, say you have, even if you don't have a, an instance of machine, like I can completely delete this. I don't need it. Okay, now say I just want to control the volume and things like that <clears throat> in machine. All I have to do is click on shift and then we'll click on instance or plug in. And then here you'll see on your machine screen, it'll say instance one or instance two, depending on what you got pulled up. And it'll say Apple Logic Pro. 
and then you just want to push down and then you have your your mixer you can even see it kind of change selections of the different tracks in Logic Pro um, so literally like I can change I can change the volume on different things and you can even see the the meters and everything I can control the volume for whatever reason I can't get it to to control the pan I don't know if if that's a feature that's enabled or not if you guys know how to get the pan to work uh, with the the logic integration um, let me know like leave a comment because I haven't figured that out and I would like to but it won't let me so um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, you can you, you got your transport controls and everything now when you switch to the the logic integration you're not gonna have control of what's going on inside your your machine software so if you have an instance of machine and you're programming drums and sounds within the machine software you're going to have to hit shift hit plug in or instance again and then you'll see the instance for um, you know your machine software and then you'll just click that and you can just switch back and forth you know whenever you want to just mix um, your logic sounds or if you want to go back in machine, you can just just switch back and forth like that. So hopefully that helped you guys. If it did, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I like to share things that really help the producer community. Hopefully this is um, another video that would do that. Also, I want to share something with you guys. Like if you are interested in optimizing your workflow using Logic Pro 10, um, you guys should check out this course by my guy, Eddie Gray. It's a phenomenal course. If you don't know who Eddie Gray is, he's like this super dope composer he's like the head composer of the emmy award-winning show born this way um super talented dude he created this course for producers and composers um, who are looking to optimize their workflow like he's like he has his logic pro 10 certification like the dude is legit so check the course out i'm going to leave a link in the description um and a few more links if you're looking for for plugins and things like that um I'll leave links like that, like just sound packs and things that are just really increase your creativity, uh, especially if you have in producer's block, you need those sounds. Um, so I'm going to leave links to all that information and um, to Eddie's course down below. So be sure to check it out. And if you like the video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.